Welcome to the exciting world of Zoomi and AI. I'll be telling you a little bit about what Zoomi is, what's inside Zoomi, the tools you'll be using, and what kind of things to look forward to on your journey through AI with Zoomi. So what is Zoomi? Zoomi is a small self-driving car that helps you learn about AI, which stands for artificial intelligence. She's a way for you to learn not just about what AI is, but how it really works and how it can help us do a bunch of awesome things, like recognize traffic signs, learn hand gestures, or learn what a smile is. You can use Zoomi with most devices as long as they have Wi-Fi, like a laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Though the best device is probably going to be a laptop because writing code on a small screen can be tricky. The nice thing is no installation is necessary. It all just runs in a browser. Zoomi's dashboard runs best on a Chrome browser. So you'll just want to make sure you have Chrome installed, which you can download for free. While Zoomi can do a lot, she is in a race car. So don't expect her to be driving super fast and winning any racing championships. And while she's a self-driving car, she's obviously not going to do all the things a real self-driving car can do since they have way more powerful computers and much more advanced sensors built into them. You'll be teaching her a lot of the basics of how self-driving cars use AI, so you'll actually be teaching her everything she knows, which is how most AI actually works. And that's exactly what you'll be doing in your lessons. So what's inside Zoomi anyway? She's got a Raspberry Pi inside, which is a tiny computer small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. She's also got a bunch of sensors built in, including a gyrometer, accelerometer, and six IR sensors here, here, and here. And most importantly, she has a camera, which is one of the most important sensors for self-driving cars. With Zoomi, you can do programming in both Blockly and Python. Blockly is a visual programming tool that will help you learn about the basics of programming. Then, when you're ready, you can use Python, which is a text-based language and the most popular programming language for artificial intelligence. You'll get to use real tools used in the industry, like TensorFlow and Keras. In the coming lessons, you'll first start learning about basic driving commands like how to drive straight, stop, and turn. Then you'll get into learning about the sensors and how to use them to do things like obstacle avoidance. After that, in the more intermediate lessons, is when you'll really start getting into what AI is. So buckle your seatbelts, it's going to be a fun ride.